Yeah, I just picked up another 960 pounds of concrete, almost a thousand pounds, 80 bags times 12, 960 pounds. And I put 960 pounds down already on the floor where the bikes go on a motorcycle. And also the concrete in that big metal thing I have for uh, securing it with a five ton chain. So, um, not from away, so <laughs> I'm just gonna bring it back and put it in place. Well, this is what I got so far in here. I put down 12 bags. This is about two inches thick already, maybe three inches thick. And uh, I got 12 more bags to put on here, so. And I could wrap the chain around this. Around this. And we'll cut that thing too easily. And I'll put some more concrete on there and just fill this all solid. So, uh, should be pretty good. And you know, there's a beam every two feet. And then across there, I'm gonna go with two by sixes across the top, put the tarp over it, and this will be the spot for the motorcycle. This should be strong enough. This should be strong enough. I mean, if there's a hurricane, the bike's gonna survive, no problem. This, this should not blow away. It's pretty thick stuff. Okay, I got the uh, two by sixes uh, nailed up in here. There's like three big nails on each side, each one of these. And they're spaced 22 inches apart. So that means I could put four two by sixes in here and make this solid wood if I wanted to, but uh, I'm not going to because this uh, hopefully will be considered just a fence and uh, you know braced up against wind and I want to put a tarp over it which is a very thick it's double actually what a super heavy duty tarp is and I got one more to put in here but first since the tarp is measured six by eight I'm gonna have to um, just you know it's a little bit finished just a little bit underneath it so this should work out though because this is about um, just a little under six feet wide and um, I'm going to see about eight feet it's probably going to come up to about here so I'm going to go ahead and uh, lay it out and make sure that I put this last board in the right place okay so um, I just threw the tarp up here just to see how it uh, kind of fits so in between here I'm going to cut like a uh, 22 inch 2 by 4 to cover this gap and I'll nail this down I'll probably have um, a block of wood over it or maybe a whole long board across it and nail it down all the way through and uh, this is actually a very thick tarp so uh, it should be fine and uh, just to see it from the other side you know you're not going to even see it from the road but it's, it's thick it's very thick actually so it should be good enough and like I said there'll be two by fours in between here or two by sixes in between there and just to show I didn't do anything cheesy um, above these tarps, you know, harpster tarps, you know, the blue tarp, and I got this one, super heavy duty. So <laughs> it's like a hell of a lot thicker than any of them out there. So um, it's strong. Grommets every 18 inches and all that type of stuff, and it'll be nailed down. So basically, it's almost going to be like a plastic roof. So especially with the two by sixes under it, bracing it. So that should be hold up to about any kind of weather. Okay, I went down to concrete, so um, that thing is, that metal thing, is trailer hitch thing is actually in there. There's a bar that goes across in the bottom and it's down about a foot, so it's, it's in there solid. So I'm going to chain the bike to that. And i got to put on the top here the boards in between this and then have a board on top of that that nails it all down flush. So this will be in here pretty solid and then I'll put the bike in here. So, And this is probably about three or four inches thick this concrete so that's pretty good it's not too bad that should be good enough and uh, strong enough so good place to put the bike yeah to get some more uh, lumber this is uh, 2 by 6 by 10 that's gonna go on the other side where the car or Jeep goes and uh, it's a little bit wider that part and this is just um, I think they're one and a half by six by eight and this will hold down the tarp on the top. I'm going to nail that to the top. It goes, it'll go right through the drum. It's actually probably with screws. And um, but this whole board will be right across the tarp. So that'll hold it down. Instead of just on the grommets, it'll be actually on top of it. But the, the actual um, screws will go right through only where the grommets are. So that'll be held down good. Well, the bike's in there and it fits pretty good. Um, it looks like 
this beam here is only going to be an open space to the sky from this beam to here. I'm not sure if I want to uh, put something here like cloth or something so the water doesn't, you know, because there's only going to be a spot here maybe a foot and a half wide that the uh, water will come down. But it may not be a big deal at all because this is a little bit higher and this will all be roofed right here. So tarp things on there and this thing is in here deep actually it doesn't look like it but there's a there's a bar that goes across here you don't see it and it's on this corner it's probably buried in there about a foot and a half it's steel bar so it's going right from this side to that side so it's all welded in it's a very heavy chain from a five ton and um, you know there's beams every less than I guess it's every 22 inches so because 22 inches, these are five and a half, even though these are two by six, they're actually five and a half inches wide. So that I could put four two by sixes in between here, and make this whole thing solid if I wanted to, and put like roll roofing on it if I ever wanted to. But I don't think that'll be necessary because I want to keep it like a temporary structure. And um, over here, what I did, because I don't really quite have it, like I'm going to put in, this is nailed down with um, this is one and a half or one and a quarter by six and it's nailed down with three and a half inch nails through the grommets so there's a piece of wood on each side and I'm going to do in between there too but there, those are actually those grommets are nailed down with roofing nails for now so but I'll probably put a piece of wood on it so it'll really be nailed down because if a hurricane came by it's not going to blow downward on this and even if it did there's there's like a beam every two 22 inches it's going to blow from the side so there's not going to be any load on this roof because it's a flat roof and it should be waterproof pretty good because it's a, it's the best tarp you can buy so it should last for a number of years and from the outside it looks just like a fence so and this chain sometimes I buy, chain a bike with it but usually I just take this chain with me because you know if I ch I'll chain the bike to something if I could possibly find a place to chain it to uh, so it's locked really good you know because I don't that's the one thing about bikes man somebody can pick them up and steal them but and you can steal them with this chain but if you're leaving it outside in the daytime you got a chain like that on here you know in front of a store <laughs> usually they will not touch it I mean I've never had a problem but I've seen other people who did not have anything where their bike they just had the fork lock people threw them right in the um, back of a truck and it was on um, I think it was called Lakeview Office Park a place I was working in uh, Winter Park near Orlando did that several times and they never got my bike because it was uh, it was chained to a um, uh, street light post over there in the parking lot so that's something important to consider but this thing is pretty damn strong you know these, these things are in here with plenty of concrete this this floor it's irregular but it's about four inches thick it's not that irregular though not that irregular it's pretty rough but so what it's just where I'm gonna park my bike and it's gonna get full of oil and every other damn thing so and there's plenty of room to put um, stuff in here for shelves too so this is cool